Welcome to The Explainer. Today, we're digging into an event that completely flipped the script on our place in the cosmos. So, let's start with a wild question. What if something visited our solar system and just, well, broke the laws of physics? This isn't just a thought experiment. It's the beginning of a story about an object that defied everything we thought we knew. All right, picture this. It's July 1st, 2025. The Atlas Telescope down in Chile, which is usually on the lookout for, you know, uh-oh, asteroids heading our way, suddenly flags something different. It's our third known visitor from outside the solar system. They call it 3I slash Atlas. But right from the get-go, it was clear this was no ordinary tourist. And when you put it next to the other interstellar objects we've seen, Oumuamua and Borisov, well, 3I slash Atlas was just in a completely different league. I mean, look at the size, 20 kilometers. It absolutely dwarfed the others. And its orbit, totally bizarre. It was going retrograde, which is kind of like driving the wrong way down a one-way street in space. But the real kicker, the thing that set off all the alarm bells was its behavior. That last row on the chart, that's what changed everything. Because on July 15th, 2025, just two weeks after we first spotted it, it did something. Something that sent absolute shockwaves through the scientific world. It pulled a move that, according to our understanding of physics, was flat out impossible. Let's put this into perspective. Because impossible turn doesn't quite do it justice. Okay, so an elite fighter pilot, they pass out at around 9 Gs of force, right? This thing pulled hundreds of Gs. There's no way a natural comet could survive that. It would have just shattered into a million pieces. And our best rockets, they can't even dream of doing this. What we were seeing was a deliberate, controlled, high-speed hairpin turn in the middle of empty space. Mind-blowing. So all of this... The impossible maneuver, the massive size, the fact that there was no debris trail, led Harvard astrophysicist Avi Loeb to say what many were probably thinking but didn't dare say out loud. He put the pieces together and didn't hold back. He said, this is no comet. He called it a controlled craft. And maybe, just maybe, a mothership. And that single declaration, it lit a fire under the entire planet. Suddenly, the whole idea of alien life wasn't some sci-fi movie concept anymore. It was real, it was tangible, and it was basically parked in our solar system's driveway. The world scrambled to react. I mean, the response was incredibly fast. The UN called emergency meetings. The James Webb telescope swiveled to get a closer look. And what it saw? Faint geometric patterns on the surface. Yet another clue that this wasn't natural. So, all the world's space agencies made a huge call. We're going to it. They greenlit the Odyssey 1 probe, a joint mission to go out there and get some answers. So now you've got this little probe, Odyssey 1, racing across the solar system to meet this giant, mysterious visitor. The entire world was just holding its breath. And as it got closer, the data it sent back just made things weirder. Its surface wasn't rock or ice. It was a lattice of some unknown metal alloy, and it was pulsing with energy. And then... It happened. The moment of truth. On October 25th, Odyssey 1 picked up a signal. Not cosmic static, not random noise. A clear, deliberate, structured signal coming from 3I slash Atlas. That was it. All doubt just evaporated. Someone was saying hello. And what was the signal? So simple, yet so profound. A sequence of prime numbers. 2, 3, 5, 7, 11. You know, the number is only divisible by one in themselves. It's what scientists have always called the cosmic handshake. It's the most basic, undeniable way to prove you're intelligent, using the universal language of mathematics. The message couldn't have been clearer. We're here. We're smart. But believe it or not, that signal was just the opening act. In its final moments, Odyssey One's cameras saw something that confirmed Avilov's wildest theory. A massive section of the surface, a door, just opened up and out came these smaller craft, still huge at a kilometer along each. They peeled off and scattered. And then the main ship, the mother ship, just went. It pulled off one last impossible trick, accelerating to an insane 200 kilometers per second and just gone. It vanished into deep space. So think about that. In just a few months, from July to October of 2025, everything we thought we knew about our place in the universe was just shattered, completely rewritten. 
They came, they showed us a glimpse of what's possible, and then they were gone. What was once impossible was now a fact. And those physics-defying moves, they weren't just a mystery anymore. They were the foundation for a whole new field of science, xenotechnology. The global race wasn't about getting to space anymore. It was about trying to understand the science behind a technology that was obviously thousands, maybe millions of years ahead of us. So the mothership is gone, but those smaller ships, they're still out there, somewhere. And that leaves us with maybe the biggest question we've ever had to ask ourselves. They came in silence, and they left in silence. It wasn't an attack, for sure, but it wasn't exactly a formal greeting either. So what was it? A simple survey? A warning? Or, and this is the one that really gets you thinking, was it an invitation? A way of saying, here's what's possible.